Hey, Shalom. We the real Hebrew Israelites coming to you week in and week out, prophesying the truth and the return of the Heavenly Fathers to set up His everlasting kingdom for you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and the confusion of the face that's scattered abroad wherever you may be. That bloodline goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and that spirit bear witness with this truth. First and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Baha Shami, Yahweh Shai, Baha Rakarkadash, which is the Heavenly Father name and the Son name, who the world ignorantly and willingly called Jehovah and Jesus in a bunch of improper translations. And Baha Rakarkadash is in the Holy Spirit, as the true worshippers will do and believe. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, the Holy Prophets back to then and reincarnation, pushing his word out, true sincerity and charity on the highways and byways, doing what's commanded, hoping for the salvation. And to be delivered. And Shalom to all you Akim that follow in order and believe likewise. Not just here in America, but scattered wherever you may be, and that do preach the proper doctrine. I just want to go into this lesson real quick, man. And, and uh basically about what it kind of like what it means to be an Israelite, you know. Okay, and uh and as it always been said, it ain't just about calling people out on their shit. It ain't just about calling the so-called white man Esau Edom is his name. It ain't about calling the so-called white man the devil, which he is indeed, without a doubt. But it's more than just that. It's more than just telling our people you're going to die if uh, you don't repent. And it's more than just calling our people two-thirds. Because before we do all these things, we got to get right. And we got to stay right. We got to endure. Okay, we got to labor. We got to have faith. Okay, we got to point the finger at ourselves, which leads to you being... Sorrowful of a contrite man, which is what the Lord deals with, as the scriptures say, which leads to you repent, acknowledging that you fucked up and getting right and hoping for the deliverance and staying occupied in it. Else fall by the wayside, you know, and following the man that the most has set up and understand the distribution of power. And with that, I'm going to hop right into it, you know, with the little time I got. This is Jeremiah 26 and 13. I'm going to start up. Then spake Jeremiah unto all the princes and to all the people, saying, Yahweh sent me to prophesy against this house and against this city, all the words that ye have heard. Okay, and the Most High is only dealing with Israelites. Salvation is only for the Israelites. You can read Psalms 147, 19 and 20. You can read Amos 3, and you can read Luke 1 and 68. And read on down, man. Okay, the law statute command was only given to Israelites, man. Salvation is only for Israel. The Lord only came for us, man. No other nation. Therefore now amend your ways and your doings and obey the voice of the Lord your God and the Lord will repent him of the evil that he have pronounced against you. Okay, when you look up that word repent is nakum, which means to be sorry. Okay, to be sorry and be moved with compity, have passion is really the uh, three I want to point out. So the Lord will have compassion uh, as the scriptures say. The Lord will have mercy, as the scriptures say. The Lord gave his only begotten son, as the scriptures say, that whosoever believeth on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Because we ain't getting to the Father, man. We need our Lord and Savior. He's pleading our case, man, because we on trial, man. We on death row. And if, if we don't beat this case through Yahweh Bashem Shah, which is the elect, their sins, and them being covered in the blood of Yahweh Shah, who the world ignorantly called Jesus, okay, because that's what his name means. Yahi salvation. Yahweh Shah. Okay? If you're not part of the elect and your sins are not covered through him, you're going to die death by pain. And have the Lord see fits if you're two thirds of our nation, because two thirds will be cut off because they'll never repent. they doing wickedness. they lead men astray. But as the scriptures say, the deceived. The deceiver and the deceived is the Lord, man. Okay? So the Lord set it all up. Just as Job 9 and 24 say, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. The Lord allows all this, man, so everybody can uh, be judged when that day come. So you won't have no excuse and you can't get out that gym, man, because you earn what you got, whether it be good or bad. And the uh, reason why I'm bringing this out is because uh, the Lord sent his prophets to speak and tell the people, man, repent, get right. Because the Lord gonna have mercy and compassion And you don't want that Hey, don't say nothing when your ass get destroyed Don't say nothing when you gotta eat your kids Okay, don't say nothing when you starving Don't say nothing when you in a famous camp, man Don't say nothing when your idols don't come through for you When the prophets, a great millstone Are back today as before telling you Okay, and other prophets That are not a part of great millstone But do preach the doctrine and truth, sincerity and charity As the scriptures say do uh, And they say, um, as for me be, uh, And that's really the point, man Okay, and, and uh, they and, and return what they do. They scoff, they laugh, they brush it off as the days of Noah, as back then, as today. Okay, and they try to kill the prophets, right? They be uh, mentally, physically, spiritually, 
these people devise all kind of plans, man. And they in cahoots with our enemy, the so-called white man, Esau Edom. That's why our Lord and Savior cut them and said, you are your father, the devil. Okay, because they find ways to uh, try to stop us, but you cannot stop the truth. This Job 12 and 11, doth not the ear try words and the mouth taste meat? And the reason why I put that out, because you know what's right, man. It's like you, you ain't going to eat no shit that's nasty. You're not going to eat no poison. You're not going to drink no poison. Literally. Okay. Okay. And that how certain people live. So they don't want to hear certain stuff. How much more for spiritual and good things, man. You know if the Lord have mercy and you got to do this and that, you know what it take. And if you don't do that, then don't be mad when you get what you got coming. Okay? And the reason why I put that out is because at the end of the day, you hear this goodness. You hear the promises. You hear the mercy that the Lord bestowed upon us. And here's the prophets that don't ask for a dime telling you what to do to get it. But yet you despise it, man. So it's basically like a four course, uh, a four course meal non-gmo okay all healthy food being offered for free all you can eat buffet okay with all good drinks with all good wine but yet you turn it down to eat some poison ass mud okay to drink some polluted ass water that's how our people is when it comes to this word man they reject the good and they accept the bad Ezekiel 14 and 6 Therefore say unto the house of Israel Thus saith the Lord God Repent and turn yourselves from your idols And turn away your faces from all your abominations Okay and we are required to do that Okay Rather being born in the land Okay Which is what a stranger is I mean being born outside of the land Which is what a stranger is Okay Because it ain't talking about other nations When you read the next verse But the Lord requires us to do that Repent and turn away from our idols man Okay, because the hey, worship an idol, that's fornication, man. These false gods, these false names, okay, worship and man claiming to be somebody like these false names, uh, Yahweh Ben Yahweh, some guy he claiming to be uh, the Lord and Savior, man, a bunch of other bugged out stuff and people out here trying to play the Messiah role and the Almighty God role, man. You know, that's just bugged out. But we are required to repent and turn away from our idols and get right and endure and hope. This jo Jonah. Nine, three and nine. Who can tell if God will repent, turn and repent, and turn away from His fierce anger that we perish not? So we don't know if the Lord will repent. You don't know if the Lord will accept what you're doing. So therefore, we should be in fear and get right when we hear the word to see the prophets on the highways and byways, man. Okay. Uh, and God saw their works that they turned from their evil way, and God repented of the evil that He said that He would do unto them, and He did not. So the Lord is not a man that he shall lie. He's not an unjust power. If you listen to what he say and repent and get right, okay, he will save you. As the scriptures say, if you do and follow the blueprint, you will be saved. But if you bullish in the plan, hey, the Lord will get you, okay, how he see fits, man. This is Matthews 3 and 2, and saying, repent ye for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, okay? And the kingdom of heaven is at hand, deliverance and destruction. Matthew 3 and 8, bring forth therefore fruits, meat for repentance. And your fruits can be whatever you do, cutting certain bullshit off, making sacrifices, laying your life down to do the work, to do the word, man, or fulfilling your lot or helping the prophets out, man, being profitable to the doctrine and the gospel and the man that the Lord set up. This is Matthew 9 and 13, but go ye and learn what that meaneth. I will have mercy and not sacrifice, and I am not come to call righteous, but sinners to repentance. So we are called to repent and get right. Remember therefore, Revelations 3 and 3, remember therefore how thou hast received and heard and hold fast, as the scriptures say. And repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Okay, and this Romans 10 and 10 for with the heart, which is your mind, when you go into the Hebrew, man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. So, you got to confess, man, you got to be truly sincere and of a contrite spirit, as Psalms 51 say, man, that's who the Lord dealing with, and that's King David. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before me, man, and we are praying to get washed thoroughly. Okay, and cleanse from our sins through your house shot, through this word, which is he is the word and our righteous man. And with that, man, I ain't got too much time. Lord will hope to last was that if I want to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Baha Sham, Yahweh Shah, Baha Kakadash, Double Honor said Elves and Apostles, Great Millstone that taught us, that guide us, and that lead us through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah, and true, sincere, and charity. Shalom, I'll tell you, Akim. Keep fighting, man. Read the Psalms 51. It's a good read, man. 
Lord willing, hope the last was edifying.